Most of you have seen a hospital, have been in a patient room, a waiting room, or experienced some of the technology. But what you might not know is the kind of things that happen behind the scenes that allow the hospital to provide excellent patient care to each and every one of you. So the pneumatic tube system consists of 69 separate tube stations throughout the regional medical center and those are primarily all in our clinical department so all the nursing stations lab pharmacy imaging the ER all of those places all have one or more pneumatic tube stations we have 279 carriers that carry all these things throughout the facility and with the 3,000 transactions a day and the average time of about a minute one to three minutes it represents almost 50 hours of transmission time that requires little human intervention. Well, specimens arrive in the lab by a pneumatic tube and it's much more in a timely manner as it would be if we had a courier run them. Um, they're down here within two, three minutes if that on each department, each tower. So at that point, then we process them, put them on our automation line. So how do you think the, um, uh, the patients, if they knew about this, would think about this technology? What does it do for them and our physicians specifically? I would say probably it helps them a lot getting the results done faster with um, sending them down quicker and then with our new automation line, which helps get results out quicker. I mean, since we start drawing in early AM hours, results, doctors have results by seven. Thank you for all you do and I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for having me. You bet. The system is, as you might imagine, like most systems today, is a computer operated system. There are folks that monitor the system 24 hours a day, seven days a week in our facilities department. Lots of our testing departments are in the Sierra Tower and much of our patient care is in the Tahoe Tower so lots of crossover between the two different um, buildings and so that's a place where it's kind of like I, I call it Grand Central Station of the pneumatic tube world because that's where things come together and get switched out and head out on a different track to go where they need to be. Thank you for joining us on this behind the scenes tour. We hope that we showed you some things that you wouldn't have expected to see in a hospital and we look forward to showing you much more in the future.